Hey guys, welcome back to the video. It feels like we just covered DaVinci Resolve 20.1, but Blackmagic is already back with another update, version 20.2. And you know what that means? More awesome features that makes our editing life easier. These point two updates are my favorite because they often fix the little things that drive us crazy so today i'm gonna show you guys my top six features that you absolutely need to know about we're talking major workflow improvements a brand new ai effect and some seriously useful tweaks all right let's not waste any more time and let's dive right in all right first up it's something that's going to save so many headache a huge improvement to ripple control you know how it is you're editing you ripple trim a clip and suddenly a long background music track or a b-roll clip on another track doesn't move with it throwing everything out of sync super annoying right well check this out result 20.2 introduces a new sync lock icon in the track header now when you perform a ripple edit on one track resolve is smart enough to see if there's a long clip on another track that crosses your edit point instead of ignoring it it will automatically blade the clip and ripple the second half and keeping everything perfectly in sync if you ever need to go back to the old way you can just click the sync lock icon on the track you don't want to be affected this is a massive quality of life win especially for complex timelines speaking of ripple edits you guys might remember the remove silence feature that was introduced for a fairlight page now it was great for automatically chopping up audio well they brought that feature over to the edit page and it's even better because now it works on your video clips too if you have an interview with a lot of pauses you can now select the clip go up to clip audio operation and ripple delete silence and you will cut out the silent gaps for both the audio and the video this is a game changer for editing down long interviews or talking heads like this one just tweak the settings so you're not cutting out natural breaths and you can get a rough cut done in seconds this next one is for all my animation and keyframing nerds out there the keyframe curve editor in the timeline tray was always powerful but could be a little clunky to navigate now it features a brand new action toolbar right at the top no more right clicking everywhere to find what you need you can now add keyframe navigate between them and change curve behavior with a single click plus you can now shift click or alt click the little visible icon next to parameter to quickly show or solo a specific curve it makes cleaning up your keyframe viewer so much faster this is one of those simple features you wonder how you ever live without the viewers in the cut and edit page now have ruler guides this is super useful for lining up titles graphics or split screens perfectly just go to the viewer guide menu select rulers and then you can literally just click and drag guides out of the side or the top and the best part if you right click a guide you can edit its position using exact pixel value or even percentage so if you want a guide dead center just type in 50 percent so simple so good all right guys this one is really cool there's a brand new resolve fx in the color page called ai cinematic haze this effect is all built on the same ai depth map technology so it intelligently analyzes your scene to add realistic fog mist or atmospheric haze it's not just a flat overlay the haze gets stronger with distance just like in real life it has settings for atmospheric scattering to control the look of the haze light halos to create glows around bright sources and even air disturbance to add subtle movement and texture to haze and because it's an AI effect you can even use the follow fx tracker to make the haze texture move with your camera which is just incredible for making the effect look completely natural the last one this makes me so happy you can now add custom metadata like the current date and time directly into your render file name and data burnings so why is this so huge imagine you're exporting several versions of a project for a client throughout the day instead of manually typing edit version 3 september 10 4 pm you can now set up a render preset that does it for you just type the process symbol in the file name box and a list of metadata variables will pop up 
you can choose different date formats 24 hour of 12 hour time it's one of those small things that will save you a ton of time and keep your project way organized so there you have it guys, a quick rundown of my favorite features in DaVinci Resolve 20.2 A lot of real pretty cool updates that make a huge difference in our day to day editing So what's your favorite features in this update? Let me know in the comment below If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for more videos like this I'll be doing a deep dive into that cinematic haze effect soon so make sure you check it out in the video <laughs> sorry so make sure you check it out in the video right here yeah all right uh see you guys in the next video bye